an old friend coming back. Some surprising amount of gunshots from Jack. You want to fucking kill some people. And a lot of fucking blood. Lots this is it. Torchwood. But now I need to ask you a question. Are you ready, kids? I'm ready. Are you? I'm going to do aye aye, Captain. Aye aye, Captain. I can hear you. Aye aye, Captain. Oh, who lives in a base under whales? Captain Jack Hartness. <sighs> who sticks his dick into everything? Captain Jack Hartness. That especially what's slave because we had an argument about this after we watched this episode about whether or not two people were fucking. I still say those two are fucking. Mm. Those two are fucking. Okay. <laughs> so this episode starts with a crime investigation and then Torchwood drives in and, and they're all wearing sunglasses and I'm like, you're a bunch of pricks. And then we get the... And then, like, the police lady's like, oh, yeah, Torchwood, well, here's the thing, someone was shot, uh, uh, another person was killed, and then it's, like, Torchwood written in blood, and the police lady's like, like, they want your attention, Jack, and Jack's like, they've got it. And if this was, like, CSI Miami, it'd be like, they got it, put on the glass and then, yeah! Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, the whole CSI Miami, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, my mom, mom watches it. Okay, yeah, because it's like open with palm bits on sunglasses and then the song plays, but like, yeah. the song starts with <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, so they're basically trying to figure out what the cheat's murderer is. is and I, and something I just wanted to bring up, this is Torchwood, a show about basically aliens. Uh-huh. We're on episode 8. Yep. I would say there's only like three episodes that had aliens, maybe more. Well, the aliens was the main pe- main thing. Right. So episode one doesn't count. No. Se- sex cloud. Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, what was after sex cloud? Uh, um, oh, uh, the transporter seeing other people. Not lives. really a bad guy. Uh, so not really a bad guy. Uh, Cyberwoman. Those, those fairies. That was after Cyberwoman. Oh. Uh, does Cyberwoman count? Uh, I'll give Cyberwoman a half point. Yeah. Then the fairies. But she was half alien. Yes. Ah. My god, you're learning my puns. <laughs> then you had the fairies. Yep. After fairies, we had... Uh, the... Was it the cannibals? Because I think there's an episode Oh, yeah, yeah, between. yeah. yeah. Or is there an episode in between? I feel like there's an episode... I want to say there's an episode... Uh, well, cannibals was before this one. So, no, it was two episodes before this one because the one after Cannibals was the uh, the uh, alien who who like fucked Tosh. Oh yeah, aye, the one who's like a yeah. mind's eye. So we have four and a half aliens. Yeah. Out of eight episodes, the rest have been human based. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert: there's not aliens in this. But this has been really fascinating, just as a whole thing. But uh, they're trying to figure out that we're going to basically speed run through this because the first half kind of inconsequential. Yeah, we, we're basically. Just, we're just meaning to set up some things. Yeah, they were just... So bit, basically so. what happens is uh, they're trying to find connection. They find it through some weird, weird friend thing. They try to figure out uh, who this person is. Is They can't... They can't, so they arrest, uh, they realise, oh, who was there, there. So they, they bring need... out the de- they bring out the death glove, which yeah. I was like really surprised to bring that thing back. So they bring back the three people that have been killed by this person. And except, they it doesn't, except it doesn't, except they can't get anything out because they're panicking and they're real surprised about this. And I'm like, you were dead and you've just come back and now you're being told you're dead. You ain't going to talk coherently. Which makes me wonder... This episode made me wonder as well, but it kind of explained it away later. Oh, yeah. Does, like, if they've been shot and gutted, can they still talk? Like, if they, like, say if, like, their throat is slashed. Yeah. So their vocal cords have been cut. Yeah. Would they be able to talk? Uh, well, like, I, well, in Avengers Endgame. This is um, an Endgame. No, but um, I would have thought, yeah, if they got their slit, 
they slit their throat, yeah, they would still be able to talk. Because in some programs, you see people yeah. screaming for help and you see their necks yeah. bleeding. What was on your brain uh, in Endgame? I don't know where you could. Um, uh, Ronin in. Uh, uh, Ronan Hawkeye in Tokyo, he fights against that um, Japanese. Yeah, but gang. their throat wasn't properly slit. Uh, the it, boss did. I'm sure when his throat was slit, he didn't scream. I'm pretty sure. No, he, he just went. I, I'll, I'll give you anything. What is it you want? In Japanese, I just said, "What you want, you can give." And then, whoosh, like that. I want to say that uh, I don't know if he cut enough of vocal cords. I don't know. Mm. But anyway, it, ignoring that. They can't work it, and then they're like, oh god, who who was the other person? It was Susie, and I was like, motherfucker, they're bringing Susie? Yeah, like, we were just like, what? seriously? Susie was a what? Susie was a one-off character in episode one. Mm-hmm. Um, she was there to be taken away so Gwen would have a spot to take. And they bring this up. Oh, they yeah. They bring this up that Gwen was only there to replace her. Uh, and it's great. So good. Hey. Uh, but, but yeah, they bring they managed to bring her back. Because she was the only one, her and um, Gwen, those two were the only ones that could actually handle the power of the gold. Yes. Which was actually very interesting. Except they don't explain how that one works. No, they don't. I mean, obviously, with Susie, because she's been practicing with Susie's the glove. Susie's been practicing. Because she was, that was the, cause it was the glove that she stole in episode one, so she mm. had more time to get used to it. But Gwen, Gwen this, was, was the... this was this this is her first time using the glove, and she manages to. Also, I remember mm. Captain Jack tried to use it, and it didn't work well for him. No. Didn't they say it had something to do with empathy? I want to say it had something to do with empathy. They at least mentioned something to do with empathy, and it was super important. Yes. Um, yes, they feel the empathy in the, the person. They, the empathies need to be connected. So Owen, work. so Owen can be using because he's a fucking psychopath. Shh. Uh, but yeah, things the if they lock on to empathy together, uh, they'll get a connection. That's how they. But they manage to bring back Susie, except something slightly goes wrong. She stays alive. Yes, after for longer than two minutes. Yes, after the two minute mark, she is still alive. I mean, she's unconscious, but she is still kicking. Mm -hmm. Didn't they, like, re-kill her? Like, it's not working, and then Jack, like, re-killed I think it was like... Oh, no, you... No, I remember it was, uh... You need... It, like, you needed to kill... I can't remember what it was, but he, like... It was, like, to use the glove, like, what Jack did was he slit her wrist, didn't work, so then he stabbed her in the heart, and that brought her back. Yeah, it was like a... We... Yeah. It was like a... It was like the jolt. It was the... Yeah, the was jolt like, that was needed. Yeah, it was like... But she's... Using a... Yeah. The fibrillator, like, going like, clear! And they go, <gasps> and Instead, it was knife where the heart would be. No. But then, what happens is, uh, the, she stays alive, and everyone's fucked up. But, uh, Susie gives the answer, and it's some random guy at a nightclub that they had a thing in. They get him, and then he just starts reading random shit. Right. No, turns... no, oh no, he stays completely silent. Until mentioned Torchwood, and then he goes fucking insane. Yeah. And then I remember when they're walking off, Captain Jackson says Torchwood, and then like. And then he just goes raging in the cage. I love it. It's fucking great. It and then uh, Susie then t ends up talking with Gwen, and it's like, hey, you were just here to replace me, hey. and she's like, no, I wasn't. It's like, have you fucked Owen? And she's like, yeah, nah, you're just here to replace me, and I'm like. That's fucking great. Oh, it was really cool. Spoiler alert. She's the bad guy. Aye. This whole thing's been planned by her. She's a fucking incredible villain. Yeah. And I think she's been the best villain we've ever had. Yeah, and this will get into more detail on how exactly she planned everything. It's absolutely genius. Mm -hmm. Like, Hitman genius. Yeah. Hitman love of it's pre like preparation. Aye. But no. Um, so then what happens is uh, he just starts reading off some poetry. Eh? Uh, Gwen, Gwen manages to get Susie out because Susie wants to see her dead, uh, dying dad. Mm -hmm. So they manage to get out and then Torchwood goes into lockdown. Um, uh, might be... Okay, well, we might be going a bit far, but we're just going to explain the whole plan. Yeah, but, uh, but 
also, uh, don't forget uh, the whole reason that guy was actually killing people. Oh yeah, because she was just force feeding him. The yes, she was telling yes, him everything. Susie was telling, was talking to him about Torch World, and every time that um, they would finish a conversation, she would give him the pills that would make him forget. Yeah. And every time he kept, and every time he kept taking more and more and more, it would then have a reaction on him that go completely in, insane. Yeah, but. We're just going to get the whole plan. Yeah. God, it's so good. Okay, here's what she did. This is good. She knew she was going to die. So what she did was, with all the drugs she was managed to give this guy, he basically, basically put in a mental, like, code in that for this to happen. If she didn't talk to him in three months, he would start murdering people and writing torch words no, murdering people in that support group and writing Torchwood in their blood. This would get Torchwood's attention, and since they wouldn't be able to find any connections except Susie was there, they'd have to bring her back. Uh, doing this would keep would have her make the connection with Gwen. What Susie wants to do is that essentially her and Gwen are kind of changed in places, i.e. Gwen's going to die of the bullet hole all Susie has, and Susie's going to be perfectly fine. I mean, what, uh, and... So, but while the prisoner, while the murderer is in Torchwood, he starts reciting poetry. Susie had made a security lock in Torchwood that when it had that same piece of poetry would make the whole thing go on lockdown and they would not be able to stop. The only way to do that would be find a reverse piece of the poetry. Eh? This is a fucking fantastic plan. Because normally when shows do this whole, oh, the villain has had everything figured out, we've just been walking into the trap, normally it doesn't make sense because it's like, no, a normal person, you're making too many assumptions, this wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, how could you possibly know they would go in this direction? Except everything Susie did makes perfect sense. Yeah. And right Torchwood's name in the blood, that gets their attention. If he just went around murdering people, Torchwood wouldn't get involved because they're involved in aliens. Yep. But if you're literally calling them out, of course they would get involved. Mm -hmm. Then you murder all the people, then they'll get the list of everyone who was at this club thing, and you'd see Susie, and they'd be like, all right, we'll bring her back. Only slight thing is, I'm, this might be me misremembering, I can't remember if they exactly say how the whole swapping with Gwen works, mm. but other than that, this just might be me being an idiot. So let's just remove that one for a bit, because that might be the only issue. Uh, the poetry works well, because he's in the jail, and he will know it, and he, she already had that pre prepared, and yeah, this whole plan works well. And there's a fun bit where uh, Gwen, where Captain Jack calls the police lady. She hates Torchwood because Torchwood basically do whatever the fuck they want. She calls Torchwood. Uh, they call Tor. No, Torchwood calls her and basically like, can you get this book? Can you help us? We're locked inside a base. And we see in a cut layer that she has it on speakerphone and she's making Jack basically say it in front of all her police friends. Make them go forward. And, it's great. I fucking yeah. love it. It's like they a all piece of burst comedy. into laughter. Yeah. And we and we all burst into laughter yeah. as well. No, she does eventually help. I think she just wanted to piss yeah. around with Torchwood. She first. just wanted to suck it in the moment that yeah. Torchwood needs help yeah. by the for the police. And That's then Torchwood and then uh, Gwen takes uh, uh, Susie to her, to see her dad. Susie fucking kills her dad. Yeah, pulls out the cord yeah. that makes him. Able to breathe. Gwen can't help because she's she's getting a hole in her head. Like she feels yeah, the back she's end losing, and blood. she's losing um consciousness. Yeah, because of, essentially so a swap and she's literally dying right now. Uh, and then basically what happens is uh Jack and Owen run after her, they go to the docks, ox and uh Where uh, Susie's Gwen, planning yeah. to throw Gwen's body in. No, I think, no, I thought the thing was that uh, Susie wanted to get on a ship. Oh, yeah, it was to get on the ship. I think she was going to throw her overboard. Yeah, on the suit. or just leave her, I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, she wanted to get on the ship, and then... Uh, Start Owen a new life. Owen tries to help Gwen, but I yeah, can't really, you know, holes forming in our fucking brain. Uh-huh. And then get Jack, and then Susie's like, yeah, can't kill me, because they are already tried to kill Susie, they can't. It's essentially Jack. And it's, it's, you can't kill me. Jack 
shoots her in the head. Yeah. She gets like, up, shoots, like, shoots, shoots. It's so... In the it, chest. She's completely in blood. And she's still kicking. She's it's still alive. vicious. She, Cap, Cap it's like Jack ruthless. fucking hated this. Yeah, and Captain Jack will just say, I'll just keep doing it. I'll just keep doing it until you're gone. Is this what you want? Like, uh, this reminds me of, like, the whole, um... X-Men Origins Wolverine, when Wolverine and Saber to fight, and it's like, how are you going to kill me? We both have the healing back, and Wolverine's like, I'll cut off your fucking head. We'll walk from there. Mm. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something like that. Then they realize it's the glove. This is the one bit I kind of found silly. All right. Eh, the butler runs, like, goes to the gun bit, and then flings the gun, and, and uh, Tosh catches it. That whole scene was a bit silly with the flame and the whole thing. But other than that, uh, she shoots the glove and basically the swap places again. And uh, Gwen becomes spare again. And Susie, you know, dies from the hole in her head, um, the, the slit of the wrist, the stab in the heart, the 20 shots. I didn't count. I... Oh, also before that, uh, she says to Captain Jack, he's coming. Yes, um, someone... Is coming and after Jack. Yes. Which we'll get, we'll get we'll get into theories at the end because I have a theory yeah. of who this is. Yeah. Also, she also says um, to Gwen, uh, well, Gwen asks Susie, "What's death like?" And she says, "It's just nothing, just darkness." Yeah. And then uh, they are basically, and it's, then and the she, end of the, the end of the for Captain Jack, she says, "The darkness is coming for you, Jack." I'm pretty sure she says he. Like he's no, coming. I'm sure that it was the dar- oh, okay. the darkness is coming, and they're looking for you, Jack. So oh, okay, so that's no, it's like I'm remembering as the darkness is coming. He's looking for you. Yes, that's right. that's how. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, you might be. It might be they. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. But um, then the ending of the episode is is uh the uh, Frantel Antel, mm. Butler's name. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yantel. 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 Yantel and Jack are basically putting her in the morgue and it's like, we can't really let this happen again. And and it's like, oh, the gaunt and it's like the gauntlet's destroyed. It's like, yeah, but nothing's really destroyed forever. So are they implying that they're gonna use the gauntlet again? Mm. I don't know. Oh, because yeah. they show but they can repair it. And Actually then, no, it's because they said that, you know, when it comes down to gloves, they always come in pairs. Ah. Uh, Okay, so it's definitely was. So there one. may be a second glove out there. Yeah, <laughs> gloves coming first. Hmm, the Infinity Gauntlet. Except in the Ultimate Comics, they were in actually, the Ultimate Comics. There's two actually two. Gauntlets. There's actually two. Three, three stones in each. Mm-hmm. I remember the that version of the Hulk had the gauntlet, mm. which is scary because that version of the Hulk is terrifying. Yeah, because he's the worst. I was like that, and then um. You seem to do this weird thing where Yandel's like, oh, I, I told the rest of the people to leave early. And, I'm, and this made me go, those two are fucking. Mm. Yandel and Jack are fucking. But anyway, uh, quick theories. My theory on who's coming is some version of Satan or something. Like, Captain Jack's evaded death long enough. Death is coming to take him. Yeah, like the Grim Reaper or mm-hmm. something like That's that. That's my theory. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you have any theory? Uh, I'm somewhat in the same category. I'm trying to figure out like the darkness because obviously Captain Jack has died like on team time, so obviously it's probably gonna be like death or the Grim yeah. Reaper or the devil or someone who <laughs> controls the underworld that's gonna be going for Jack. The devil himself. Yeah, or something. Oh, that could be the movie. Not the uh, the the. The, um, not the season, the long mo- extended movie. No, it's no. Not the children. Of oh, Earth. No, um. The other one. No, uh, we have season one, season two, and then season three and four, they're not movies, they're just episodes, but since it's one continuous story, they call it that. Well, that's what I mean. M- Miracle Day? Miracle Day, yeah. Ooh. Like, Miracle Day? Like, hmm. Maybe, I don't know. But. That could be something. But it, we know what the future episodes are called because we have the box set. But. Yeah. Beside that. Uh, but overall, this episode was fucking incredible. Best episode of Torch for Doof we've watched. I say it's only just copy and paste what we said in the last episode. And the episode before that. And did we say that was the, this episode? 
Uh, we said it wasn't the best, best episode. No. But it was, oh, no, wait. Oh, no. Actually, no. Last time, it was the first time we ever said that it wasn't better than the previous episode. Yeah, ca- the cannibal episode. Yeah, we thought that one was actually not as good. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then and then we said... Yeah, because it was after the cannibals, after apparently we went for the worst episodes, then the episode we just did said best episode what no the best yada yada essentially just copy and paste what we said there best episode we fucking love this yeah Can't completely smart more. completely smart yes. absolutely incredible yeah but anyway thank you i've been the scottish nerd he's been the super trainer this has been the torchwood video thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one bye see ya